Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, I am going to be touring this wonderful manufactured home. This is manufactured home number two. I'm out at Home Max in Lexington, South Carolina, and I actually wasn't even coming to this location. I came because one of our subscribers um, saw that I posted that I was headed to Lexington, South Carolina, and she said, if you go to Lexington, South Carolina, You've got to stop in at Home Max and see the home, see the tour of the homes there. She purchased the number two, her and her family. This is the home that they purchased. This is the number two. I went in to sit my stuff down, you guys, and I'm super impressed. I can't wait for you to see this home. Let's walk around and see. So you can see the exterior of the home. You got a transom window up there. I don't know if that's a closet or a bathroom until we go in and look. I like to be surprised too. I know somebody suggested I go take a look at the homes first, but I like to be surprised. I like, I love to be surprised. So you got a transom window there. You got a big transom window there and one there. Can't wait to see this home, you guys. Lots of windows so far. The, the first home that I toured had lots of light. I can't wait to see what this one looks like. So that's uh home number one i'm not sure which one i'm gonna post first probably in order um so if you've seen this video if you're watching this video and you haven't seen the first one you gotta go back and watch okay all right let's go in and take a look see what this home looks like hi family just a quick disclaimer i do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I share my personal opinion of the homes that I view. If you have any questions about finding this home, pricing or specifications, all the information I have will be in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so this is what you see when you walk into the home, really lovely. We're gonna walk out and turn around so you can see. All right, we just came in from that door and you've got your little cutout and enough space over here for an entry table. To the right, you have your living room area. Love it, love it, love it, love it. You've had vents in the ceiling. Got a nice ceiling fan there. And I love this hallway, just a lot of space. I can tell it's a lot of space in here, you guys. So from the front door, this is your view of the living room. All right, before we go into the kitchen, love this little area here. You've got something like a mud room area. You can put pillows on that bench so people can sit down, take their shoes off, uh, hang their coats up on the hook. You got a little storage area here. Um, let's look into the cabinets. Really nice. And the lowers have shelving also. Love, love, love it. Very nice. In addition, I love this little table here. Um, it's up to you what you do with the home, but I think that's cute. It's really nice. And it goes well with the built-in next to it. So again, oh, and let's not forget about this coat closet. You got a coat closet when you first walk in. So you've got a place for coats and for storage right here at the front door all right your front door is there and then again this is the living room okay on around this is your kitchen this is what you see into the kitchen you got a nice big island y'all just look past all of my stuff there you got a nice big island here no sink in this island so you got a lot of space Love the lighting, the pendant lights that they have in here. 
really nice. Then you have a stainless steel package in this home. You've got the double uh, stainless steel refriger uh, frigidaire refrigerator. You've got cabinets uh, in here for every, you've got upper and lower dark cabinets. For every lower cabinet, there are drawers. In addition to, you have these pot drawers and silverware drawers on the right side of the refrigerator. And then for every other lower cabinet, there is a drawer, which is always a nice touch. You've got the built-in microwave in here, and you've got tall cabinets, but you've also got space above the cabinets. These cabinets actually have uh, three sections. The tall ones actually have three sections. Uh, that's the plug to the microwave, you guys. And then you've got this extra cabinet space up here that also has shelves in it. So really, really nice. Love the ceramic top stove that's in here. Absolutely love it. You also could have put your microwave in there, but again, for every cabinet you have, um, for every cabinet you have a drawer and then you have those small cabinets over there. So really, really nice. Over here you have your dining room. Love, love, love the recessed ceiling. You've got a chandelier in your dining room. And look at all the space that you have for a dining room table. Super nice, super, super nice. You've got two windows in here to bring in lots of light. I can imagine uh, a nice big table over here, maybe a table that has a bench on one side, uh, two high back chairs on each end, and then uh, separate seating on the other side. So really, really nice, really nice. So again, this is the dining room. This is your kitchen. Let's take a look at your pantry. You have a pantry door here. You have four shelf, four separate shelves. And look at all the space you have in this pantry. Really nice. Now, a lot of times the standard is three, three shelving units, but you have four in here. So you, they've really maximized the space in this one. So that's really nice. You have a regular door. So this one doesn't have a barn door like most houses have these days. So that's always nice. It caters to those that are not really into the farmhouse features. Really nice. Let's do one more pan around of the kitchen and dining room, and then we'll go take a look at the guest bedrooms. All right, so that's the kitchen and dining room, and here you have the living room. Really nice. This your house? I'm just <laughs> <laughs> All right. On down this way, you have a bonus area out in the out. It's not a hallway, you guys, which is what we normally see. You have this bonus area, so you have a lot of space in here to do whatever you like. You, there's a built-in desk and upper cabinets there, and you have all of the space out here between rooms. Now, I'm not really sure how many bedrooms. I see a lot of doors. So let's explore this area and see what we have. All right, so let's go back toward the living room and turn around. So you have this large common area here. Door number one on the right is a guest bedroom. So this is a smaller bedroom. This could either be a bedroom or an office depending on what your needs are. But this is, we'll call this guest bedroom number one. That wall is cattle corner, just like the cattle corner wall in the hallway. You've got your window there. And let's see what size the closet is. All right, you got a standard closet. And again, this is a smaller bedroom. So if your needs allow, you could either do a, make this like a nursery or a smaller bedroom for one of the smaller kids or make it an office. So that's guest bedroom number one. Here you have a bigger room. This will be guest bedroom number two. All right, so you got guest bedroom number two, another standard closet right there. That's your closet. 
So this is the second bedroom. All right, so that's it for this wall. You have two bedrooms on this wall from the living room. There's your desk area. And then straight back is a bonus room, family room, living room, whatever you call it. But listen, I saved the best for last, you guys. So coming into the room, they have a sectional here that faces this wall, which has a nice cutout, okay? You've got space for a large TV. You've got space for all of your electronics, decor, books, whatever you like. You got a ceiling fan in here, a nice window. So there's that space right there when you walked in, right? There's that space right there. So I'm gonna walk over here and I'm gonna let you see what's behind it. So if you turn around, you've got another window and you've got all of this over here. You've got your nice bar area. You can put some stools there, set up a bar area. You've got space for a table over here. Um, you've got two more windows, large windows in this room. Really nice. This bar has a wine fridge, a sink, and lots of cabinets and drawers. So this is really a nice entertaining space, right? This is a nice entertaining space. You've got a nice big island here. Room for three bar stools. And you've even got a closet over here to stack up your cases of beer and uh, bottles of wine or additional storage, uh, coats, guest coats, supplies, whatever you like. Really a nice surprise in this home. Super, super nice. So again, you have all of this entertaining space here. Really, really, really nice. Let me give you a good sweep. And you have pendant lighting in here. So really nice. So that's your bonus room. Now coming back into the hallway to the right, you have your back door. Well, this is your utility room. So your washing and dryer will go there. You have space for a deep freezer or whatever you like on in this corner. And then around here, you have another little cubby hole. So this is a really, really large, this is a nice laundry room. Nice size laundry room. Lots of space. I'm trying to get in a position to give you a good pan. So let's see. So you can see just how much space you have. So this is one wall. Wash and dry, go to the left. Then you have space over here. So your dryer will go there and your washer will go on the other side. And then you have all of the space over here for whatever you like. You also have a cubby hole over there. Does that make sense? Okay, good. All right, so come out of the utility room and you've got your guest bath. There's one of the transom windows that we saw. Okay, brings in a lot of light in the bathroom. Really nice. So that's your guest bath. And then, now remember we're going back toward the living room. This is guest bedroom number three. So this is a four bedroom. Four bedroom, two bath. Really nice. So that's your guest bedroom. All of that over there is guest bedroom. And then you've got double doors on this closet. Really nice. It's not a walk-in, but you have a bigger closet in this room. Really nice. So that's guest bedroom number three. Now I'm going to stand in the 
living room hallway and show you again so you have a good idea. So you got guest bedroom number one, guest bedroom number two, you got your bonus room, utility room, guest bathroom, guest bedroom number three, okay? All right, so let me grab my stuff. And I don't think I really took a good look at this area. You've got three cabinets here. This is a desk area. And you've got two cabinets, two drawers in the desk. So this will be a great space if you work from home. You don't have to create another office if you need your bedrooms. Um, or if somebody, if you wanted this to be like the kids, work on homework or you pay the bills area and you do need a, a separate uh, office, maybe somebody works from home uh, and they need their own space, then you can make one of those bedrooms into that as well. All right, so back it into the living room. Now, where's the master? If you walk through the kitchen and the dining room, the master is over here, okay? So this is your master. All right, so we're walking into the master and all of this space is your master. You've got a ceiling fan in the master, got two windows on that wall and lots and lots of space. Really nice. So all of this is master. Let's take a look at the master closet first. Walking into the master closet, I already like this shelving unit that's here. This would be for shoes, purses, hats, just whatever your needs are. And then you have all of this space over here. And you got rods to hang and shelving to put, put additional items. In addition to that, you have the lower shelving right there. Really nice. So that's a nice closet, you guys. You've got nice space. And they really maximize the space in there for you already. Okay? Really nice. All right, so that's the master closet. Again, one of our subscriber sisters uh, this is the home that they purchased. So this is a beautiful home. Congratulations to you. This is your sink as you your double sinks as you walk into the master um, bathroom. Lots of cabinets and um, and and shelves and uh, drawers. Lots of cabinets and drawers here in the bottom. When I get hot, you guys, I get to talking crazy. Two sinks and a lot of counter space on the sinks. You've got this large mirror here and a lot of lighting. You've got, that's that large transom window, brings in extra lighting in here. I know you hear the echo. This place is huge. Look at the sunken tub, the standalone tub that they have in here. I love the shape of it. I absolutely love the sneak, sleekness of it. Really nice, it's super deep. This is a nice tub, you guys. You've got the transom window above, and you've got this huge standalone tub right here. Next to the tub, you've got this oversized shower. This door slides, boy, it's heavy. This door slides, it's got real towel in the shower. Your shower head is there. You've got pendant lighting in the ceiling. Really nice. Really nice. This is an oversized shower, you guys. This isn't a standard shower. This is the upgrade, and that is really nice. I love these sturdy doors that they have on here. Love, love, love them. Really nice. And again, that sits next to the tub, super nice. You've got your toilet room. 
in here, there's that other transom window we were looking at. So you got a lot of light to handle your business. In the toilet room, there, it has a door that closes. And then here you have additional space for all your toiletries, linens, and things of that nature. Love the antique white cabinets versus white. I always am a little afraid of white, even though I like the look at them, of them. I don't think I would want them because I would be afraid that they're always looking dirty. <laughs> but I love the antique white. It doesn't, it's not too white, but it's not the brown either. Really nice. Really, really nice. Beautiful, beautiful uh, home. The bathroom is beautiful, but this home is beautiful. Really nice. All right. This is mobile home number two. Again, we're at Homex, you guys, in Lexington, South Carolina. Did I talk about this really nice window? Love this big window. I love that the two sides open. Really nice. Just enough backsplash. Super nice. All right, we're at Homex in Lexington, South Carolina. This home is four bedroom, two bath. It's 2,254 square feet. Um, and if you're interested in pricing, all of their information will be down in the description box below.